then wish you a good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome here to the Victoria Park. Certainly not the longest trip that Carlisle United will have to make this season away against Hartlepool tonight and visiting a side who have not won in their last seven. Jones coming forward for Hartlepool. And coming forward strongly and has scored. Well, how about that? Six minutes and Richie Jones has put Pools in front. Well, he was not challenged. He was never troubled. And perhaps goalkeeper Colin got his positioning wrong. 1-0. Great strength in the area. Really well worked. Look at the desire coming forward. Such good work it was from Hurst. Now Robson. And Dobie, 1-1. Scott Dobie has always been dangerous in the air. And it was a pinpoint header from Robson's cross after good work from Hurst. And it is 1-1 with 10 played. The lead lasted only four minutes for Hartlepool United. With well, the defensive header, didn't really help out Hartlepool. And they've just about got away with that. But look at this, more nervous defending. Out swinging corner, 2-1. Well, if Dobie's header to equalise was emphatic, then what about that one from Anthony Sweeney? An absolute bullet. Joe Gamble's corner. And it's 2-1 to the home side. 28 minutes play. Lifted into Jones off the crossbar. Well, it was a difficult skill to turn it goalwards. He very nearly managed it. But where was the marking from Carlisle United? Their own worst enemies there. But they've got away with it. Another good corner. Again, it's causing problems. And what a mess at the back for Carlisle United. Another set piece. Another Hartlepool United goal. And Gamble scores three minutes before the break. It's 3-1 now. It is a shot directly at goal. And Flinders had to get behind it. Strong hands from the goalkeeper. Seven without a victory for Hartlepool before this game. They're cruising now. O'Donovan's ball through and one pass has completely beat the entire back four of Carlisle. Jones, four. Richie Jones, second. Hartlepool United, fourth. 16 to go at Victoria Park. And the party can start for the home faithful who have been long overdue one. It's a good touch in the area. Is there a late consolation in this for the visitors? Keogh worked it well across the box. And Flinders had to be smart again with the stop. Massive win for Chris Turner's side.